Hey, community of awesome, I'm Gabe and this is Bookish Pixie. So over the years, as I've mentioned grad school, I've gotten a lot of questions about whether or not I think it's worth it to get an MFA, slash questions along the lines of whether you need an MFA in order to be a writer. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, no, it's not necessary to get an MFA to be a writer or to get published. But as for whether an MFA is worth it, that's going to depend on what your goal is. So I'm currently getting my MFA in writing for children and I have one semester left before I graduate. Graduate. And I published my first book just a couple of months before I got my undergrad, so I didn't pursue an MFA program in order to become published because I was already doing that. If I'm being completely transparent, the main reason I decided to go to grad school was because it would allow me to move out and become independent. And I figured if I was going to be pouring all this money into grad school, I might as well pick a program I would be passionate about. So I pursued a program that would allow me to write what I love. And I think it's an important thing to know about MFA programs. If you're going to be paying for this program, then you want to make sure that you can write what you love in this environment and it's going to help you flourish instead of looking down upon it because a lot of MFA programs are known for being kind of haughty against books that are YA or middle grade or even just genre fiction in general and that's not what you want to be putting your time and energy into. So my program in particular is children's literature specific which means it really pushed me to get to know other parts of children's literature that I wasn't as familiar with so middle grade and picture book and early reader and because of that I actually wrote my very first middle grade manuscript for the program so success. By the time I have graduated in May I'll have written two projects that I can then use in my career and that's pretty cool. I think my main takeaways from the program is it really pushed me to get to know other parts of children's literature that I was less familiar with and it gave me the time and motivation and structure in order to look at them seriously. And if I'm being real with you guys, it gave me what I wanted because I was able to move out and become independent. I've been living on my own for over a year now and supporting myself and it allowed me to come out and live my adult life and do things that I've wanted to do for years and do it in a supportive, welcoming environment. So I'm thriving and I'm really happy about that. I got what I wanted. Did I need grad school in order to be able to do that? I mean, not necessarily, but I wasn't going to give myself permission, nor did I have the courage to up and move to a new city without some sort of structure and foundation and reason for me to do so. And grad school ended up being the reason that I needed. So was my MFA worth it for me? Yes, absolutely. But in the end, whether or not it'll be worth it for you is going to depend on what you want to get out of the program. If you want a structured environment to focus on your writing and get critique and push you to explore things you may have not done otherwise, then yeah, it could be a great option for you. But an MFA is not going to guarantee you publication, nor is it necessary for publication, nor is it necessary to become a good writer. That said, it can be a great way to meet other writers and to focus on your writing academically and push yourself so it can be a great option for some people too. So that's what I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you guys soon.